Okay, we got uh, Les here with some guy from Argentina. What was your name? Gonzalo. Gonzalo? Yeah. Gonzalo. Yeah. That sounds Chicano to me. Okay. Uh, and uh, Les says that uh, the future is here. So let's see what he's talking about. Now, he did bring over that, uh, he did bring his other car over. What was the name of that car? The Leaf? Oh, the Leaf. Yeah, so he's got electric cars. So now we're going That's even. The next step. That's the next step. Okay, so now we're going even into the future more uh, with natural gas. Because he says that's where it's at. Time for Pete's Car Smart. Pete's Car Smart. Pete's Car Smart. Where even the littlest tech tips make a big, big, big difference. So this is a brand new van, and uh, this is a Nissan full-size big giant van, and you converted it over to C GNC. What is CNG? CNG. CNG. Compressed natural okay, gas. Okay, that says GNC. Because it's from Argentina. Oh, so Argentina is backwards? Around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so they, if we were in Argentina, what would that say, GNC? What would it? Gas, gas natural, natural. Compressed. Instead of uh, compressed natural gas? Exactly. So everything's yeah. ass backwards or yeah. pass backwards. Yeah, huh. exactly. Okay. All right, so what's going on here? Uh, the what tank, come on, come on. Can you let come the guy on. talk for a second, Les? All right, let's go look at the tank, bud. Go, go, go look at the you tank. You know, he let's thinks fight. that his vehicles are toys. He <laughs> they, treats them like toys. Right there. Okay, so how many gallons of uh, compressed air is that thing holding? Eleven. That's 11 gallons? 11 gallons is natural gas at $2 a gallon right here. So $2 a gallon, 11 gallons, and how many... Uh, how many miles per gallon is he going to get with 11 gallons of as fuel? As many as you do with gasoline. Just like gasoline. Exactly. So to drive this big fucking van at uh, 9 miles, miles a gallon. 150 miles. You think he'll get 150? Yeah, this is between 14 and 18 miles to the gallon. Okay. So, so you're going to have to fill that up basically every day. That you yeah, use. Why isn't it hooked up? That's what I'm asking. It is hooked up. Well, what's this? No, that's exhaust. That's a, that's a valve. And oh, okay. You got that all wrapped up nice and clean. Yeah, so that you get exhaust. What would you say versus gasoline versus natural gas? What would you tell everybody out there? And can we do it on any vehicle we want to? Any vehicle. Diesel, gasoline. So you're telling percentage. me. Hold percentage. on a second. Okay, hold on a minute. You're telling me that my little Maxwell over there can go natural gas yeah. if I... There's I no fucking way. I do many of those. You do many of these little yeah. Volkswagen. Now, don't yeah. those overheat, though? No. Won't the valves burn up in an air-cooled... I put a... I put a device, a pipe, w with some coolant, and I make it circulate. So you're basically telling me that we do away with the fuel injection, that's not even any good anymore? Um, I'm cutting it off, I'm just using the air intake. Now, does that make your engine run cooler, or what does this actually do? It makes your engine uh, run cleaner, because it doesn't have any carbons. So this actually makes your engine run a lot cleaner? 3,000 more miles. Uh, every, between all changes. Uh -huh. um, so now, now hold on a minute. So nowadays it's actually 6,000 miles, so you can go 9,000 miles without changing the oil. Yeah, exactly. 9,000 miles without changing the oil. Wow. 9, to make it even now. Just yeah. make it an even 10 and be down the road, especially yeah. if you're a hard working guy like Les. Exactly, yes. exactly. Huh. Uh, now, how much does a system like this cost, Argentina? $4,000. Well, yeah, with that tank. You can go bigger yeah. or smaller with a tank. So let me ask you this, Les in his uh, uh, mobile right here, yeah. he's a happy camper because he told me, come here Les, yeah. come here. He likes starting his cars, dude. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck you it is. You see the switch it. in there? Yeah, let's look at that, let's look at that. Now what's a switch? So this actually has gasoline or natural gas? Exactly. Oh, so use... this isn't one of the, I mean this isn't proprietary, this is one or the other. Exactly. Let's check it out. So actually you're doubling your range. Hold on a minute. Now what are we doing here? You're revving the engine up. Why? Now it's gas. Natural gas only. That's natural gas. Now, only. where's the switch? Uh, Argentina wanted yeah, to show. Middle. Where? Okay, that's the digital control switch down there that uh, 
Now, does that come with the kit, Argentina? Yeah, everything you see here huh. comes with the kit. So it, you'll never run out of gas anyway because if it gets low on natural gas, you hit the switch exactly. and bam, right back to gasoline exactly. to go. Exactly. You want to. Now, what are you going to use this van for, Les? What is this service. for? Service. Huh? Service guy. This is your service van? Uh huh. Okay. That it's Mexican's going to be one happy camper driving a brand new I know. Car. Yeah. I'm surprised, I'm surprised you didn't put a Mercedes Benz emblem on it. I tried, but Mercedes. Why don't you have to convert all your Mercedes over? I don't let you. You can't. Uh, Mercedes don't... Benz, you can't? Too many sensors, too many trouble. Oh. Too much trouble. Now, what does that do to the pollution, uh, population of pollution? You can uh, breathe, you can breathe the tailpipe. Okay, what does that do though for the, uh, the atmosphere using natural gas versus cleans, gasoline? It actually cleans the air. It doesn't have any carbon, so it's 95% cleaner than So gasoline. you can actually go down there and, you know, suck on it if you want and breathe the fumes without getting hurt? You won't get without hurt. Without getting no. high. Okay, so any either. drug addicts out there that are watching this, don't suck on natural gas because you won't get high you off it. You won't get high off yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, don't huff natural gas. All right, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Take it easy. And once again, Les has came through the neighborhood showing off his brand new vehicles and all his brand new toys of saving gas and being green. Mr. Green Gene himself right there. And uh, I'm just wondering where Captain Kangaroo is. Huh. All right. Green is green and green will be green if Les is in your world. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.